Whisper. Stop the stupid dancing. Show the tutorial. In the description below, you'll find the link to this collab file, which you can open up in your browser, log in with your own account, and you might also see an option where it'll say copy to drive. Just you can create a copy of this particular collab file in your own drive, and then you can run it by yourself. Did you show them how to do the runtime setting? Oh yeah, I was going to show that. So go into the runtime setting and then change runtime type. Here you want to make sure you are under GPU and then just press save or in my case, cancel. So once you're done with that, then go ahead and start downloading. Now you're going to be downloading some source and BGR or background images that we are going to be using for this program. These are already freely available so you can test it out and later I'll show you how you can do for your own videos and pictures. So once you have done with that, then you're downloading the main model path file. Then your next step is going to be cloning the repository. And if you open up this link here, it will open up into a GitHub repository by Peter L1N. And this is the chairman and his team. They were responsible for making this. This is their second attempt. The first attempt was also good. And this is even better where you can see even the hair profiles are being done. I knew you were copying codes from other people. You oh, yeah, I, mean, I was giving credit for that. Thoba, 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 thoba. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, I'm just trying. So you're going to be using this particular repository to use all the model files and their inference image files on all of all the application. The good thing is the authors have made their application MIT license, so you can use that even for commercial purposes. Now let's come back to this. So the BGR image and the source video is something which we are using from their project. Now let's see how we can ultimately run this. So it has downloaded the source file, the model path file, and the background image. Now let's run the main application. Here, this is the code which takes care of everything. So you have the model path, you have the source, and you have the background image. Once you have everything, then it will create an output folder with this name, output, and it will create these five files for you. So let's run this quickly. I'll speed up this a little bit. While this is running, let me show you how the background image and the source file should look like. So you want to take a video which has a still background before you come into the frame. So before you as a foreground comes into the image, you want to take a picture of the background by itself, a still image, so that the machine or the machine learning algorithm can understand what the real background looks like. And then it will use that as a reference image in order to do the background subtraction. Then I'll give it a few seconds so you can take a couple of copies of the frame in case one doesn't work out. Then come down in front of the frame and then record along with you. Then you can cut that portion of the frame which you want the background removed and then upload it here. Then of course you want to change the path file name. In case of SRC you can write down whatever video file that you are uploading and BGR whatever video file you are uploading. You can also make it easy by just right clicking here and copying or copy path. You can copy path and then come back here and whatever the path you are then just come here and paste. So you can see that it is now starting to create those video files. This is the com, the green, and then the error file, the foreground, 